I'm going to show you how to set up configs to run Half-Life 2 on Xbox. So, basically, you have to have a modded Xbox, of course, and Half-Life 2. So, if you've played the game at least once, it should have a file um, down here in Z, colon slash, Half-Life 2 slash Half-Life 2 X called zip0 underscore xbox.xzp so you're going to want to get this file onto your PC um, and basically how this works is you have a file called xboxuser.cfg so if you go in like the games like actual files here like the configs and stuff e colon slash tdata slash 4541001 is Half-Life 2. So slash Half-Life 2 slash Half-Life 2 X slash config or CFG. This file right here, which I have a copy of on my PC already. So so it has a checksum at the end. So if you try to edit it manually, it will detect that you edit it and delete it and replace it with the default. So what I'm going to do is replace the default that it replaces this file with. So that is in the zip file. And I already have a copy of that too. So I wrote a tool to basically just take a config file that you write or edit or whatever and just overwrite the one that's in the zip file. And then you just put the zip file back where, where it was originally and then when you play the game again it will overwrite xboxuser.cfg with the one that you wrote if you change it or delete it or something so I'll post a link to my tool also so you just do insert underscore Linux because I'm on Linux but I do have a Windows version and then the config and then the zip file, zip zero, and it just injects it and it shows you what the config is and then it outputs it as modified.xzp. You just have to change the name back to what it was originally and then keep the original somewhere safe if you, in, in case you want to like change it again or something. Um, so in the config file, you're gonna want like you can make your own binds and stuff. It can't be too big because you don't want to overwrite other things in the zip and you don't want to change the size of it because that'll mess everything up. So it has to be under a certain size. So to kind of get around that and to also get around the fact that sometimes it unbinds things uh, while you're doing the run, I have a, a bind in here that executes another config so this is basically the one you want to have in the one that's uh, that you put in the zip so exec the config.cfg and then you can write another config and you can put that let's see it's oh yeah yeah okay it would go in the cfg folder with all these other ones so here's the one that it copies over that has the checksum on it that you can't edit and here's the one that you can edit so this is where I put all the actual configs that I use and I have a bind to execute it so you're gonna want a wait table so you can do change level delay um, you can't do um, save warping unfortunately on Xbox it'll crash uh, but I haven't See, like, I haven't tested that enough, I don't think. Um, but basically, you just want to alias W to wait, and then W2 to W semicolon W, and so on. And it'll wait that amount of ticks. Um, so if you go through a change level trigger uh, while you're waiting, it will put the change level command like 
in like a like a command queue kind of thing filled with wait commands so it it like waits over and over again until it finally hits that uh change the little command and so that's how it delays it basically so you want to have this it's pretty important for the speed run and then you also want to have um, save delete bind so save con reload so the xbox basically runs a modified version of windows so con is a reserved file name so you save the game as con it fails it tries to load it it fails because it never saved it in the first place and then it just reloads the map um, and that's pretty useful for the speed run uh, you want to have a save load bind and then another exec command in here and my xbox user uh, file does have a it has some extra stuff in it like you might also want sv unlocked chapters 15 so you can practice like different chapters and stuff go to any map maybe you can put in um, a command that'll just take you to the map you want to practice uh, and like okay so the Xbox controller has the black and white buttons on the side so I use those for quick save and quick load it's pretty handy and then let's see uh, right is d-pad select but I think I overwrite that with flashlight but it, like if you need more binds like you're kind of limited to how many buttons the Xbox controller has you can make another config that changes the binds to like select another config file basically so you can kind of have more in a way um, and I haven't really tried uh, plugging in a keyboard but maybe that works I don't know I don't know how you'd get that to work but yeah that's basically it you just like you just inject your own config into the zip and then put the zip back on the Xbox and then play the game and if you've modified the first one it should overwrite it and then you have your custom config so so yeah let's see let me show you the power of text editors and changing files <laughs> editing files basically any command that you can do on PC will work on Xbox except for ones like that show stuff on the screen like CL underscore show pause and show FPS they don't actually work which is kind of a shame because that would be good information um, and network stuff also doesn't really work like you can't just connect to like a server or something because I think you can kind of do stuff like that in Half-Life 2. It's got like networking stuff in it, but this doesn't. So like, here, let me load up Water Hazard. Okay. So I just hit back to exec the config, and now I have a pause bind and change level delay, but I'm not able to do that here, or it wouldn't really like do anything. But yeah, quick save and quick load, I have that too. So yeah, basically, I just want to show you how to do it. See if I can encourage people to run the game on Xbox. 
I don't want not knowing how to set it up to be like an obstacle or anything. So let's see, I can do save load and then save con reload. And we have save deletion and it just reloads the map. So yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> you can do the speed run now. Hope it helped. See you guys later.